Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a somewhat tired episode of Ted's Booze Cellar on this most glorious Friday. It is currently 5 to 6 on the 18th of September 2020. Now I'm hoping that I'm finding you all in a good state of affairs. And to anyone viewing this video who may be Jewish, Happy Rosh Hashanah or Jewish New Year. So very happy Jewish New Year to everyone watching this. But anyway... On to today's drink of choice. Now, I thought, considering I hadn't done it in quite a while, I thought I'd make this weekend a weekend where I don't look at one specific type of drink all throughout the weekend, or one specific brand, or but more so that I just pick and choose and I just have a different drink for each day, just to sort of mix up a little bit. So, today we're going to be taking a look at something that I'm sure a lot of people who go regularly to Nando's will recognise, and that is... Savannah Premium Dry Cider. Now you can get this in these bottles at Nando's restaurants in the UK. Uh, this video isn't sponsored by Nando's or uh, Savannah, but I wish it was. And it is South Africa's premium cider. It contains sulfites and it is produced under authority in Belgium. So it's a South African cider produced in Belgium. Hmm. Oh well. I mean, if my experience with Belgian ciders is anything to go by, then this will be pretty damn good. So, yeah. This is a 5% alcohol volume. I got this for 2 99 from the Wine Barrel on Western Road in Hove. So, yeah, if you want to check this out, then you might as well go there and get it. But I think you can also buy it in a few other supermarkets as well. So, it's like a fairly well-known cider, I think. It's probably not like as widely known or as popular as some other ciders, like Stouffer Press even. But I think... I might end up probably liking this a little bit more, perhaps, so, yeah, I'm willing to give it a good shot. I quite like just sort of the simplicity of, like, the design of the label and the bottle. It's just clear, plain glass, very handsome, and, yeah, just a simple bit of imagery depicting a little snippet of the South African countryside. So, yeah, very handsome, very nice, very simple, 10 out of 10, I like it. So, let's give ourselves a quick little snifter and see what it smells like and hopefully give ourselves a good first impression. So, let's uh, get ourselves worked up, so. It does have this sort of like, sort of fermented tint of like a lot of dry sharp ciders, but most of the smell kind of smells of this quite sort of like mellow, but also somewhat striking um, like kind of like fermented apple juice it's 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 like a very nice plain smell doesn't sting the nostrils or cloy too much so yeah I give the smell like a 9 out of 10 but as we always do or at least when I remember to do so I'm just going to have a quick palate cleanser of water first and I should mention I have had this cider before, but it has been uh, released like three or four years since I last had it, so I do remember that it's, I think it's generally good, but my memory is not the clearest on it, so this would be a ripe opportunity to try it. So, bottoms up, and to everyone, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. It's interesting because it kind of does taste a bit like fermented apple juice, but it like sort of like very smooth, sweet uh, sort of flavour. And then there's this dry finish at the end that just quite caps it off quite nicely. I've enjoyed in the past ciders that have sort of like a more moist finish. The finish of this is quite dry and uh, crisp, uh, and I think that I think that does complement the sweetness of it quite well actually. Uh, but interestingly, actually, when I swallowed it down, I like, noticed there was like this interesting, like, little tint of like sharp tartness that kind of reminded me, weirdly enough, of red wine, sort of something like a South African or an Australian Shiraz red wine. So that was quite interesting and rather unexpected. But it actually did complement the the dry sweetness of the cider pretty nicely, actually. So yeah, it's a pretty well balanced cider overall.
I wish it was perhaps a tiny bit sharper. And I wish uh, the the flavour overall is like pretty consistently good. I just wish it was slightly fuller and had a tiny bit of sharpness to it. And the only other like really major con uh, complaint I have is like I wish the, the texture of like the finish was slightly smoother. But overall, it is generally pretty smooth. So this is a, like a pretty pleasant drinking experience. And it's smooth and like got enough. It's smooth and got enough flavour that you feel that you could enjoy drinking it on its own. Either as a pre-drink or as a drink just on its own at the end of a long hard day of work. But it also feels like it's got a plain enough flavour that you could enjoy it with a good meal. Perhaps something like I don't know, some spicy chicken maybe or a nice vegetarian pizza perhaps. It, yeah, it's, it's a generally sort of flexible most situation suit all kind of cider. And yeah, it's, it's on the nicer end of the spectrum. I think there's some craft ciders that are a bit nicer and have like a slightly fuller, more interesting flavour. But for what this is, this is still damn good stuff. So yeah, I'll give it a eight out of ten. It's pretty damn solid. I'll, I'll gladly go out of my way to get this again. And usually, I think when I do get a drink, an alcoholic drink, when I go and eat in at a uh, Nando's restaurant, if it's not San Miguel, then it's probably I'm pretty pretty comfortable drinking this. So. Yeah, no, I, I really like this. Yeah, very, very nice. Uh, solid 8 out of 10, and I would pay the price of 2 99 for it again. So, yeah. So, if you guys like this video, leave a like, share, and subscribe. If you have any things in particular that you agreed or disagreed with, or you just want to leave suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Boost Seller, leave your ideas in the comments section down below. And if you want to check out anything else I do online, I'll leave the links to my social medias and other YouTube channels in the video description down below. But, as always, have fun, stay safe with whatever you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do, wash your hands, take a mask with you to the shops at the moment, and I will, oh wait, and one more thing, drink responsibly, know your limits, and I'll see you at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Cellar. Ciao, ciao.